Here is a rare case of scope damage while removing the guide wire which is present outside the access sheath. It is a case of a 1 cm stone in the kidney. RIRS is done without any problem. At the, this is the guide wire we are placing for safety outside. This is the middle calicial stone. The flexible scope is passed like this. The stone is identified. After identification of the stone, this is the middle calicial stone. The basket is used to relocate to the upper uh, calicial stone. This is the 1.9 French and put it into the upper calyx like this. And uh, surgery is done up to this time. The flexible scope does not have any dots. It is a new scope uh, used only for 5 times. Uh, the powdering was done within 20 minutes. At this point of time, one, uh, one uh, guide wire is seen at the bottom but which appears to be fixed always. So doubt has come why the guide wire is not moving but uh, we wanted to remove at the end of the surgery. You can see the small guide wire. At the end we removed the guide wire like this and immediately dots have come. We pulled the guide wire more, more dots have come. We pulled the guide wire, scope has become blind. The probable mechanism is not understood, but intact scope is removed. Major observation is laser fiber is broken and cladding was there, but laser was not activated at all during the guide wire pulling because both cannot be at a time. The guide wire has buckled the tip of the flexible scope like this is the proposed mechanism. Guide wire had a fixed memory at the end of the uh, guide wire which has curled the flexible electroscope and forcibly bent and damaged the scope. So these type of rare uh, things can happen. Unfortunately, uh, one should be very very cautious. If the CM is done and seen the flexion at the tip, uh, uh, this might have prevented but it happened with only one or two pulls. So I really wonder how this can be avoided even now retrospectively. Thank you.